Kanye West recently went out and said that classism is the new racism. I think classism facilitates racism. I think, in, in, I think that classism needs racism to, to act as the forefront for it. So you're always arguing with racism until you realize that classism actually facilitates that being what it is. Look at today's society. Someone would much, even if someone's a, a bigot, look at the people who are rich. They can't afford to look like they're racist. They have to pretend like they love everybody. They have to act like they're some kind of, because the worst thing and the thing that will make someone hemorrhage money, unless you have an already built-in fan base that's just like that, you know what I mean? Like a Rush Limbaugh where you can get away with saying anything and then people say, oh, that racism, that's not true. He's not racist, you know. The guy who said he's racist, he's the racist. Like, <laughs> at Bill, that point, Bill you're dealing with like a d delusional audience. Okay. You know what I mean? So I think that in, in terms of, of people who, who cry racism, I think the difference is this. I don't believe in reverse racism. I believe everybody can be racist. The difference is this. Have you ever had to justify your humanity? Can someone discriminate against you? And yet, have you had to justify yourself as a human being? Here, uh, I have. The, the, the sickness and the reality is, when you look at, well, when did you justify yourself as a human being? When did you have to say to someone, hey, remember that I'm, that I'm a human being, that I'm not an ape, or I'm not a savage I, animal? I, I remember, as a kid, Growing up during the Cold War mm -hmm. with Russia, someone told me I could shoot you and nothing will happen to me because you're Russian. Someone told me that in my face. I remember punching him in the face after that. When? This was uh, in the 80s. Here? In America. Right, but this is the point. That is Basically a saying that, that killing you is not the same as killing a regular human being because you are subhuman. Yeah, but that, was that codified into law? No. Right. That's what I mean. The, your, your, the perception of that wasn't even codified. Dude, when they sent people to the gas chambers in, in Germany and all over Poland, did they say that they were herding cattle into the gas chambers or they were putting apes into the gas chambers? No. They said these are undesirable people that we don't want. Isn't that fucked up? that at least they had the dignity to call them people? I mean, but, you think the, you think the Nazis considered these, considered I, the, them I, people? I don't, I know that they considered them a lesser race, but they considered them at least human beings. That's the sickness of it. And when you look at, when you look at Nazism, that's the face of fascism. That's, that, these, are, these are such inhuman things that they did. No, I don't think that they considered that they, that they fully consider Jewish people human beings, I think they obviously saw them as savages as well. Right. But when they described that society, they were building these, these great and, and long-standing ideas that they thought would influence the future of their society, the future of they wanted to build. However, it was always flawed. Why, Vlad? Because if you look at Europe, it's never been a white Christian entity. There have always been black people there, as long as there have been black people. There have always been Jewish people in Europe, as long as there has been Judaism. There's always been Muslim people in Europe, as, as, as early as Islam existed. I think it's absurd to look at something as some sort of white, pure entity that doesn't exist. They're living in a mythical fantasy land. And how does that relate to it? because when they came to the new world, quote unquote, when they discovered the new world, they decided that if they considered these people human beings, that they would have to be under the protection of some kind of codified law. So to not include them as human beings gave them the right to do anything that they wanted with these people. And I think that's something that we often leave out of the mark of, of history. You know, and I think that when you when you look at it and when you see the sadness and sickness of what of what has actually been done, you can tell that it's 
institutionalized, and that's the difference, that some people has the, have the power to say, oh, you know, we're not gonna give you this job, or we're not gonna teach you about your history, or we're gonna make you and, and just depict you as some sort of savage or animal. If I watched TV and I had never been exposed to a black person or Latino person in my life, and my only exposure to them is through, you television. know, television, then I would think the most stereotypical things about them. Yet, when you look at it, not every ethnic group gets the same treatment. And this is supposed to be a free society where we don't do that anymore. And in right. reality, it's just masked now. This situation, Diddy's a multimillionaire. Uh, his son has been going to that school for a few years now. Never heard of any situation. Clearly something happened where Diddy felt his manhood was being disrespected, or uh, he was in some sort of danger. A motherfucker in this day and age will do anything if they feel like it's gonna go viral. You know what I mean? If motherfuckers is gonna be talking about it, shit, I'll do whatever. 